Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys had a great week this week. It is Saturday, the weekend is here. We get a chance to relax and that is always appreciated and always nice. I am on vacation for the whole next week so I don't have to go back to work for about, oh, nine days, which I don't know how long it's been. I think my wife and I sat down and figured out it's been about almost 12 years since I took that much time off work. No, excuse me, it was about 10 years um, since I took that much time off work. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I don't know that I'm going to want to go back to work, but you know, that's what we got to do. So let's go ahead and get into today's video, shall we? Um, about a week ago, I put out a video saying I was going to give the DK window manager a shot for a week and kind of give you guys my thoughts on it. And as you can see right here, if I zoom in, I am running the DK window manager. Now, I have been recommended this window manager multiple times by multiple people. Um, I attempted to install it a while ago and um, something didn't work for me so I didn't get a chance to get it up and going but this time um, it, things went off without a hitch. Um, if you watched my last video you'll know I went onto their, uh, the Bitbucket site for um, the DK window manager and kind of went through that so if you're looking for that information on it that's not going to be on this video. Um, I'm going to cover what my thoughts are for the week on it um, but what I will do is I will go ahead and launch a browser here. And actually let's go to Workspace 2. And we will go Bitbucket. I guess I gotta be Bitbucket. And it's gonna be um, DK Window Manager. And last time I went, I completely butchered this guy's name. And I feel like a fool because when you actually click on the link and bring up the page, it's just the guy's name. I thought this was one word, um, and I was trying to pronounce Nadamaya, Nadamia, or whatever, and I just butchered it, and so I apologize. But the gentleman's name is Nate Maya, or Nate Maya. I don't know how you pronounce that, but that's a little better than what I did before. So, Nate, if you're watching, I apologize again for butchering your name, um, especially when I did, didn't need to, considering it's right in front of my face here. So, But this is the website, the Bitbucket site for it, and this is where you go to get a little bit of information about it. Um, and you can go through all the install uh, instructions here and kind of basic configuration and usage. And there's not a whole lot to this page, but it's pretty concise, and it was plenty for me to get this thing up and going and working how I want it to. So, what do I think about Bit, or at, about DK? Well, let's go back to my first workspace and let's CD into DK, and we're going to vim into DKRC. Now, this is my DKRC. This is what I uh, kind of semi copied and then added to uh, to create my. Um, setup for DK. Now this isn't the final setup. There's still some stuff I want to do, but this kind of got me working to where um, it's basically like my other setups. So basically what we got here is I said on the last video that I didn't know how to auto start stuff, so I put everything in my .x and RC. Well, stupid me, if I just looked, it's just a bash script. All I got to do is call the stuff, just like in Herb's Luft. So what we did is we created an auto start section here, and I added all the programs I wanted to auto start right here. Um, then we have simple X hotkey daemon, simple X hotkey daemon launching right here, and it's got a path to the configuration file for simple X hotkey daemon. This right here is the uh, border rules and the information you need for changing border size and border widths. Um, if we scroll down, we have the workspace stuff going on here. So we have work number of workspaces is ten. Um, we have uh, layout. Tile, master one, stack two, gap four, split, 0 0.55, 0 0.50. So basically what this is doing is giving you a master stack layout. So it's the tiling layout. Um, we have one master and we have two in the stack. Now one thing I really like about this window manager is if I go ahead and launch another window, you can see I've got the master on this side and then we start the stack over here like normal, right? Well, if we launch another one in the stack, there we got two. Well, if you look right here, we got stack two. Does that mean we can only have two? or a, a total of three windows open on each workspace? No. What happens then is if I launch more, it goes over into a third lane over there and you can start launching from over there. So I like the fact that you can pick how many um, uh, windows are open in each section in the master and the stack. And you can increase those. You can change them here um, by changing these numbers or you can actually go in. There's a key binding that allows you to change them on the fly. So um, it's actually a pretty cool setup. I like the way he did that. Um, now again, that's, oops, let's 
CDDK, MDKRC. Um, now, like I said, um, I usually only have two, maybe three um, windows open on any workspace at a given time before I use a different workspace. But I just really like the way he did it. That was pretty cool. I like the fact that um, you can change the layout here, the number of windows in each one. You can change the gaps here. And then you can also change your split. Um, you can do a 55-45 split. You could do a 50-40. You can do this whatever you want. And then you can also change the side split. So this split right over here that I did from the stack, um, you can change the split just like you would in the... Um, um, master and stack version. Now, I would love to show you all of these in action, but I've been running into an issue, and I don't know if it's a DK issue or if it's something I've got set up, um, but basically when I try to reload the configuration file, um, it kind of borks everything and things kind of go wonky. So it wasn't doing it at first. Once I started messing with stuff, then it started doing it. So I'm pretty sure it has something to do with what I did. I just haven't been able to track it down yet. So as much as I would love to show you this stuff in action, like changing these split sizes and everything like that, I really can't because it, it um, something I've got going on in the config file is not letting me. Um, but we do have uh, set workspace 10. You can set rules for certain workspaces, like this workspace 10 is set to grid. Um, if we go over to uh, 10, you can see I've got, let's just move that to nine and go back to 10. Um, you can see this one is set up differently. So um, instead of having the tiling mode, you can set um, each workspace to have a different layout um, and different padding, um, all kinds of stuff. So you can do certain things and different things on each workspace, which is kind of cool. Um, the window behavior and settings, we have that here. So focus open. Uh, so when you open a window, it's going to send focus to it. That's true. Focus to urgent windows. That's true as well. Focus follows mouse. That's true as well. Um, tile to head set to zero. Um, basically what that is, is when you open a new window, it doesn't push your current window down the stack. It leaves that where it is. And it, it's kind of like in DWM, you have open aside or open below. Um, that's kind of what this does. It keeps the window that you already have open in the current position and opens another window below it, which is which is kind of cool. I like that setup, but I also like the fact that you can change that. Um, we have minimum window um, 50, and we have uh, minimum XY 10. Uh, so we have DK set smart gap to true and smart borders true. Basically, if there's only one window open on a workspace, then you have no gaps and no borders, which is cool. Um, I like that. <clears throat> I have DK set mouse, alt move button, and so basically alt plus button one is gonna move a window. Alt plus button three is gonna resize a window. Um, border width, we have um, in our key bindings, we have uh, key binds to actually change the border width uh, with keys uh, on the fly, so that's what that, that does. And we have border colors here. And then we have some window rules down here. So I have set up DK command rule class for Pavel control LX appearance and Nemo is gonna float true. So if I open Nemo, um, it should float and it didn't. So I don't know what that is, but if I do Pavel control, I know it does. So that one's floating. So you can see if I alt, I can move it around. Um, maybe Nemo is, let's try that again. And oh yeah, see Nemo's floating. So it was just opened up on the side there. I have noticed that too. If you have a uh, something set to float, uh, like I had these set to float, I actually had to put coordinates for X, Y in here. Otherwise, every time I opened them, it opened it kind of in a different position on the screen. So that's just kind of another weird thing. Um, I don't know if that's, uh, again, something that I've got going on or something that's going on with DK or if it just doesn't like the fact that you, if you don't put an X, Y coordinate in there for where the window should open, it just kind of throws it open wherever. Um, but nothing, that's just nitpicky. That's not, not anything I'm complaining about. Uh, it's just something I noticed. Um, so I also have my scratch pad set up. So if I do mod enter, that's going to launch my scratch pad. And you can see I set the size and the X, Y coordinates here. That's something I really like. That's something I miss. Um, I missed on uh, Herb's Loft is I could set window size, but I couldn't set window location precisely on my screen. You could have it centered or not centered or whatever, but you couldn't set it like, I like having my scratch pad open towards the top of the screen there. That's just the way I like it. I like having my menu open up there in the center. I don't like them completely centered in the screen. So um, I just like the fact that you can set the size and the location of the window. So I have my scratch pad, my launch menu, and my uh, VSP2 script that launches my uh, void source packages menu. So if I do mod shift V, that's gonna launch my uh, void sources menu, or void source package menu. Um, and that's what I have set so far. Um, I'm gonna go through and add a few more things in for different windows and stuff, but um, all in all, I am thoroughly impressed with this window manager. Um, if we go ahead and quit out of here, and we CD into programs, and let's do Ranger, 
and we're gonna go into DK. Now you can also go into DK and go into, um, where is it, source I believe. And you can do just like DWM and you can um, edit your config.h and config.def.h to make changes as well. Um, but so far I haven't had come across anything that I've wanted to do that with. Um, basically everything I can do in that configuration file that I need to do and um, that's all I need. So it's actually a pretty great window manager. I'm pretty impressed with what this guy has done. Um, I was unaware when I first started using it that this was kind of shipped with Arch Labs and this was affiliated with Arch Labs. Um, or I don't know if it's affiliated. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but they do ship it with Arch Labs. You can um, use it there. And I've never tried Arch Labs, but I did download their ISO. So be on the lookout for a uh, uh, kind of impressions on Arch Labs. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed with this, and I hope this continues to ship with Arch Labs, and I hope this gentleman continues to maintain his uh, window manager because this thing is a pretty darn cool window manager. In fact, I like it so much it broke my top five within the first couple days of using it, um, and those have been my top five for quite some time. So um, it's bumped. I'm not going to say which one it bumped, but it, it bumped one of my top five, and um, so far I'm really impressed with it. Um, so much so, in fact, that... Um, aside from being able to throw some cash at this guy for uh, uh, helping him out, um, I wish I could, um, but I'm just not in a position to do that. But um, I wanted to show this guy how much I appreciate it. And this might seem kind of cheap and kind of stupid, but what I've done is I basically uh, configured my setup to highlight um, his window manager. And so you can see he's got this kind of blue and dark gray color scheme here. So what I've done is if we go to a third workspace, um, basically I've highlighted his uh, DK window manager color scheme on my entire system. Um, my wallpaper, my polybar, my conky there. If we launch a terminal, you can see my NeoFetch is all colored that. If I go and open like my uh, bash RC, you can see, oops, I forgot I changed that. So we're gonna vim into bash RC. Um, you can see that I've changed my color scheme in Vim to match that as well. I just want to highlight this stuff because one, I like the color scheme, but two, I love the window manager, and three, I think what this guy has done is pretty cool. Um, he's done a very spectacular job with this window manager. Um, I got nothing but good things to say about it. You know, the couple issues that I have um, with the floating windows opening in random places and the reloading the configuration file not working, whether those are, my end, are on my end or not, those aren't uh, detrimental to usage. So even if they are something that's going on with the window manager, um, they aren't something that uh, is like making it unusable. Um, I've found ways around both of them, so it's, it's just not a problem. Um, so what I would say is if you haven't tried DK and you're looking for a good window manager and you've tried all the other ones um, and just haven't found anything, give DK a shot because it is a great window manager. I, I highly recommend it. I think it's great and I really think if you use it, you'll like it. So that being said, there goes my vacuum cleaner. So excuse me one second while uh, the terminal does its thing and uh, <laughs> cleans out the bin but um, that being said if you guys uh, like this go ahead and give it a shot um, and hey give this guy some credit for what he's done he's done a spectacular job so that being said you guys have a great rest of your day a great rest of your weekend stay safe enjoy yourselves and god bless